hi guys welcome back to another tutorial today we'll be making a bucket hat but first we'll cut our pattern so the first thing you want to do is to fold your paper into two and then fold it in another two for this tutorial I'll be making use of the head circumference and my head circumference is 21 inches I'm going to divide 21 inches by 6.28 and the figure I got was 3.5 inches so I'll measure 3.5 inches from that midpoint round my paper just like this, just like so. If your head circumference is bigger than 21 inches, still divide it by 6.28 and whatever figure you get is what you will be marking round your paper to determine the crown of your bucket hat. So after marking it, you connect your dots like so. After connecting your dots, you cut out that pattern. That pattern will serve as the crown of your bucket hat. And this is what you get after cutting it a round circle like this. Then you label your pattern if you want to. I labeled my crown and then still wrote down the inches that I used. Next, we want to cut out the side crown. Here, I'm using 11 inches for the width and I'm marking four and a half inches as the height. And then you mark it like so and use your ruler to draw a straight line. So after connecting my lines, I divided 11 into 2 and the figure I got was 5.5 inches and so I marked that for the midpoint and then came down by half inch from that midpoint, went in by half inch from the first side and half inch again from the other side Then I connected these lines to the other line like so and did that for the other side just like you see and from that half that I came down from I measured three and a half inches from the side I measured three and a half inches and the other side three and a half inches then I folded my paper into two and I connected the side to the midpoint like so From that midpoint, I measured 3.5 inches and at the side to 3.5 inches and connected my lines like so. Then I cut out my patterns. So there you have the pattern for the side crown of the hat. You can also lab label it if you want to. So next we want to cut the brim of the bucket hat. I'm going to use 14 inches as the width and 2 inches as the height and I'm going to mark that. Then I use my ruler to connect the lines, just like you see. From that line I connected, I folded my paper into two from that line, like this.
then I divided 14 into 2 to get my midpoint and 14 divided by 2 is 7 I mark that mark 7 down also and from that point I'm going down by 2 inches again and then I marked it and made sure it's up to 14 inches like this and mark my midpoint again I came down by 2 and mark my midpoint then I use my ruler to connect all the lines So now I'm going to be using 10 inches as the width measurement for my upper brim. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I placed 5 inches on the midpoint there and marked out 5 inches on the left hand side and 5 inches on the right hand side like this. Then I folded my paper into two. From the midpoint like this so from the right hand side that we marked the five inches we're going to connect the midpoint to that five inches like this and then from the midpoint remember we came down by two inches you can come down by whatever figure you want but I'm using two inches so I came down by two inches there and then Then I used my ruler to connect my lines just like this and then connected the remaining lines freehandedly like this. You can label it like this if you want to. And then cut out your pattern like this. So this is what the brim of our bucket hat looks like. I wanted to reduce the pointiness of that edge so I curved it a little bit. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on my notifications and all that good stuff. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box. You can also reach out to me on Instagram at styledbyzitiri. It's styled.by.zitiri. So that is all for your bucket hat pattern. In my next video, we are going to be cutting using these patterns to cut on our fabric. So till then, stay jiggy. Bye!